Hey, it's Smitty from Diesel Crew. We're going to show you the right way to bench press today. I know a lot of the stuff I see on the internet uh, shows bad techniques, so I'm going to have Brad here. He's a fitness professional along with myself to show you how to bench properly. And this is how to track the elbows, how to save the shoulders, how to utilize your back, how to set up on the bench. So all those different things we're going to show you today in this quick video. If you have any questions, you can email me at uh, info at dieselcrew.com or smitty.diesel at gmail.com. So uh, we're going to bring Brad in here. We're going to show you how he sets up on the bench. And Brad's going to come through. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come through with our head. And we're going to plant our feet. Brad's going to plant his feet down. He's going to belly through, arch, and stick his shoulders into the bench. And when he sticks his shoulders in the bench, he's retracting his shoulders, so he's going to stick his shoulder blades on the bench, he's going to pack them in there. Okay, let's show him that one more time. Spotter, you can hold the bar here, make sure it doesn't roll when he's pulling himself through. Plants his feet, bridges through, arches, retracts his shoulders, sticks them right on the bench. When I come over here, I should be able to push my hand between him and the bench. His quads are contracted, he's pushing down into the floor, his glutes are contracted, and his upper back is tight. Okay, his lats are the foundation he's gonna press from. Okay? So, what we're gonna do here, he's set up, and I gotta jump in here quick, because it's a hard isometric contraction. He's gonna give me the cue when he wants to lift off. I slide it out to his spot, he re breaths chest up, makes an elbow correction straight down, Straight up. Now the bench, go ahead and hit another rep. The bench is a full body lift. If you're not sore coming off the bench, if your whole body's too sore, you're not doing it right. So a couple things happen. Brad, get that camera over there. Just point it on me. So a couple things happen there. When Brad took it off here, he doesn't lose that retraction. He's not protracted here with his back flat. He's still pulled in. He's got his chest up, shoulders back. Now, what happens is, when he has that locked out, he's going to make a small elbow correction. It's like five degrees elbow correction here. As soon as he makes that correction, he comes straight down. Okay, when he comes straight down, it doesn't allow us to flare our elbows up. Okay, this is the compromising position for our shoulders. This is where you get into the impingement, the irritation, the inflammation, the rotator. So we don't want to be here. You see a lot of bodybuilders, a lot of untrained athletes hitting the bench up here. We want to be down here. Okay, this saves our shoulders, put it in a more uh, optimal position, more tricep engagement. So the way we get there is we make a small correction with our elbows. And you'll see Brad here, uh, if you didn't catch it before, he's going to make that correction and he's going to come straight down. Okay? So that's one thing. The second thing is his back is tight. His back is the foundation he's going to be pressing from. His lats are going to be contracted and he's not going to relax to pull the bar down. Okay? Uh, by him relaxing, that's going to get the bar down here, but also loses that, that uh, positive contraction across our whole body, the thing that we're going to press from. So what we want to do is, we want to keep that contraction, okay, and we want to pull the bar down to our chest. And by pulling the bar down to our chest, we want to pull the bar apart. Just like you're locking on a snatch overhead, we want to pull that bar apart. Now when we pull that bar apart, that engages the last. Now as we pull it apart, we're going to pull it straight down. We don't relax and let the bar control the movement. Okay. Uh, third thing is, like I said, it's a full body movement. Your whole body is going to be tired. It's going to be a full body contraction. He's driving his feet down. He's got thoracic extension. I should be able to pass my arm between his lower back, his lower lumbar, and the bench. And again, small correction with the elbows and come straight down. And this will keep us out of that L-shaped for that L position that's really bad on our shoulders. Okay, if we do this, we can do this set after set. We're gonna save our shoulders and we'll be able to bench for a long time. So we're gonna let Brad come back over here. He's gonna set up again and notice all the points I talked about. Grass and extension, his lats are tight, he makes the elbow correction and he pulls the bar down to his chest. He doesn't relax, okay? Let's show that one more time. Get that off. Come through, bridges down, retracts his shoulders, back is tight, here's your correction here, you come through, 
hit his butt, push your hand through. He's gonna give me the signal, he's gonna take a big breath. And before I relax it, he's gonna take another breath. Okay, small elbow correction, straight down, drive it. And when he makes, keep going, breath. When he makes the elbow correction, pulls it down, he's gonna reverse that correction to lock it out. Okay, elbow correction, reverse to lock out. Again, chest up, one more. Good. Now, another point I didn't talk about was the spot. Now, you see, once you get to work with an athlete for a while, you know where his, his bench movement, his bench path, bar path is going to be. That's important. Also, uh, when, you, when you take the spot off, I see a lot of guys spotting like this. This is what you want to do. Okay, the guy's grip is getting out, you can fall forward. You want to spot it like you're doing a deadlift, over and under, an alternated. Uh, an alternating grip. So when I pull it out, I can control the weight if he doesn't have it. Okay, don't spot him like this. This is a bad spot. So he's going to take a breath, he's going to sig signal me with a number, countdown, whatever. I pull it out. When he gets to his bar path, his bar position, I'm going to let it go. If, he, if it's max effort, I'm going to follow him down with that alternating grip. Not like this. Follow him down, he pushes up. Um, what else? That's it, you just want to make sure, uh, when, when I let go of the spot, another, another piece of this, when I let go of the spot in his bar pack, I don't want him holding the breath that he used to take the bar off the rack. He's got to re-breath at that point. So he takes a breath, I bring it out to his bar pack, out he takes another breath. Okay, when he starts down, I let go, and I can follow him down for big effort. If not, I back up when he's done, I help him bring it back. The majority of the injuries from bench press typically happen when the guy doesn't have a handoff, especially with heavy weight. Okay, because he's got to relax and pull that bar out to his bar pad. The spot should be controlled and right to his spot and lock it. If you have any questions, email me again at dieselcrew.com. Thanks for watching.